right, boys and girls, look what we got here today. <laughs> the giant roach prank toy. I couldn't resist buying this thing, okay? I saw it. I saw it on, uh, I got it from GearVest. It was 12 bucks, okay? It was one of those, you know, the you see it and you go, oh, okay, I can't resist buying it. One of those uh, irresistible purchases. I already opened it and put the batteries in. I don't know why I can't get the damn box open. Save some time. There's the box. And it doesn't have a manual or they don't even give you the complimentary screwdriver. Okay. Nothing's in there. The manual's right here. They give you the batteries, those little um those little watch batteries or whatever you call them, things you put in garage door openers and stuff like that, hearing aids and it's those kind of batteries. So, and this is it. But I think it's really cool, okay? It's kind of a big roach, but I guarantee you it would scare some chicks, okay? I guarantee, I guarantee you they'd scare the crap out of them. Then here's the remote. The on-off switch is right there. You can see it and get some light there. Right there it is. Right there. These little lights will come on right here to let you know it's on. Right there. Then the infrared, you just pull it down like that. And that exposes the uh, infrared right there. And it's one of them always on deals, you know. As soon as you touch it, it's going to start going. But I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, could you just imagine like setting this thing on the vanity top and hiding around the corner? And then somebody coming in there, and as soon as they went in there, if they didn't notice it, and just having it scroll right across the thing like that, you know it would scare the crap out of some girl. Or have it uh, have it in there, because it has a decent range on it, so you can like get away from the from the from the product, and then them come in, or oh here you could have it like right over there. <sighs> right just around the corner like that and then you could be around the corner and then as soon as they came in you could just go like that you know that would scare the living shit out of them their damn hair would stand on end or you could do, you could let's see what else could you could put it in the fridge that would probably be a good one too i bet it would i bet it would work in in there you could put it in the fridge like that and then when they open the door you know you could send it off like that so you know now you know I'm gonna I'm gonna use this thing okay I'm gonna go up to uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put this video out first but I am gonna take this thing up when it gets where it's not wet. It's snowing like hell today. So there's a Starbucks up there, up in Penn Center East, that I'm going to take this thing up to and set it out there on one of those tables that all those millennials come. And I'm going to set it like maybe under one of the table legs. And then, uh, start going with it
it won't let you run it continuously for uh, a long time. It, it goes in like these little foot distances. It's not going to run like from here all the way down the street. It's going to stop every, after about 12, 12 inches or so. It doesn't uh, want to continue. So I just, that's, or it loses the sink or whatever. I mean, I'm just not sure why it does that, but it just does. Every once in a while it goes into this where it forgets or it just will stop and won't won't go anymore so you have to turn it off and reset it or something like that but other than that i haven't had any trouble i've been running the hell out of it so hell i might even been running the batteries down on this thing for all i know all right boys and girls go get yourself one from gear best for 12 bucks you'll love the hell out of it believe me it's a great gag scare the uh scare the crap out of the old lady right I think Cuppy should get one. <laughs> I, think, I think Cuppy should get one and scare Mrs. Cuppy. <laughs> I think that would be pretty funny. All right, guys, you have a nice day.